KTSW 89.9, you just heard The Kill by White Dress, and we have the great pleasure of having them in studio with us right now. And they're actually going to perform live for you in just a little bit. Uh, but first, Lay, let's get to know them. Hi, guys. It's great to have you here with us. Hey. Yeah. We're here with Aram and Grant of White Dress. So, um, so guys, um, just wanted to ask you, um, how did White Dress get started? Where did y'all start from? Uh, we met at a show at Antone's in Austin, Texas, and told him that I needed a drummer, and I asked if uh, he played jazz. Even though we weren't playing jazz, he said, yeah, so we got together and started playing. That's great. So, um, how would you describe the sound of white dress? Um, I'd just say loud but intimate. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great way to put it. I know you. I've that's what I like about being a duo. So you can do you can do both things. You can be loud and rambunctious, but you can still be intimate at the same time and leave room to be soulful. Do you feel like you two have um, different music influences that really contribute to your music? Yeah, for sure. Now, what are some of the challenges with just being, uh, you know, you, you mentioned a duo group. Um, what are some of the challenges that you find um, that you deal with as a, a band and, you know, maybe with recording music or when you tour? Well, it's really almost all benefits. Um, just for the last thing you said for touring, it's just dealing with two people is a pleasure. Um, we talk about having a third member or a fourth member a lot, but there's so many benefits about just being a duo that it kind of keeps us comfortable in that seat and respect. Um, as far as the recording, we played all the instruments on our EP, except for we had uh, a friend come in and play a little bit of organ. And so that's also creatively really challenging and really fun, because uh, you can surprise yourself too. You can do as a musician and then in what comes out songwriting-wise. So. Yeah, and speaking of tours, I know y'all had a chance to um, tour on the East Coast last fall. How was that experience? Um, it was awesome. We actually just did several shows in New York, um, but we met a lot of people, and it was the first time that we both played in different projects, and so we both played in New York before done uh, small tours, but it was the first time getting to introduce White Dress, and so that was really fun. We met a lot of great people, <coughs> and just got a lot of good feedback, good reciprocation from bands. It was awesome. Yeah, are you starting to get a lot of response from um, outside of Texas and across the nation for White Dress? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Grant says no. Oh, okay. Why, why not, Grant? I just wanted, because I knew she was going to say yes, and I wanted to say no at the same time. So actually, <laughs> well, we've gotten a good response with blogs, and um, yeah, I mean, it's trickling in, it's just... You know, it's independent, but it's it's been awesome. Like, with blogs, for one, or have taken over any kind of. Uh, it's a, basically the best way to get your music out there, and they've been pretty supportive. The ones that we've hit, and they seem to keep coming. So, I'm just trying to, you know. Well, I, I know you're here in studio uh, to perform for us, so I want to go ahead and give you that opportunity. Um, would you mind um, letting our listeners know what you're going to be playing, and, and we'll go ahead and uh, give you the mic. Sure. Um, because we are a duo and we usually play plugged in, I'm, for the radio today, just going to be playing solo acoustic. and. Grant, you can hand bone if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I like to um, hand bone. But this song is called Heaven. Got your death wish. Speed, they're flying away. 
You're a reckless snake and nobody hold you And I can't console you If you don't let me You're so scared of tomorrow You're pulling the shade against the day Like your crippled bay With your razor Okay, let nobody see you, and I can't free you if you don't let me. No, you don't have to die to go to heaven. Can't you see it, babe? It's right here. You don't have to die There will be sweetness in heaven Yeah, I got warm and softened with ease and peace of mind I love you strong Just believe in I find someone to hold you, yours to come home to, baby I'll show you the way by and by, you don't have to die, go to heaven, can't you see? I think this might have been you actually uh, saying, calling it country lounge. And I thought that was the most interesting way to describe it. And it, it really kind of fits, but yet. Who, who, said, that? who said that? You said that. <laughs> I, said, I said that for my solo, for my first record. That's on MySpace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you don't think that fits really anymore? I think. Um, country lounge just sounds like a. Crappy Vegas act. <laughs> How would you describe it, Grant? Um, I don't know. Uh, cool? Not late? I don't know because it's cool. Cool music. Uh, crazy sometimes. Loud. Now, what have been some of your um, musical influences? <laughs> well, for me, I've uh, a lot of songwriters. I love. Anyone from Bob Dylan to Tom Waits, uh, Towns Van Zant, and then I like the Pogues, the Pixies, PJ Harvey. A lot of those things kind of meet in the, in the middle. And then Grant loves. Do I like music? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm a drummer, so I like a lot of bands that have good drummers, so, like Stuart Copeland from The Police and The Ramones. I like I like everything. I like metal. I grew up listening to metal, so Cantaner, Metallica, stuff like that. Awesome. Um, I know y'all play um, pretty regularly in Austin. Um, what can someone expect at a white dress show? What is it like? Nudity. <laughs> <laughs> make everybody take off their clothes. <laughs> um, we like to, well, we play for one every Sunday night at Hole in the Wall. But we uh, like to do, basically, it's, it gets pretty loud. And then we'll do, uh, so like a, excuse me, a cover song, maybe Hank Sr. or Patsy Cline, uh, Gillian Welch. Do those covers too. I was learning a stroke song the other day of Julian Casablanca, like when he does a song. Um, yeah, so it'll be loud, but then we'll do like a lot of quiet things as well. And it depends who's there and what the crowd is like. Very cool. I know here in San Marcos, we're all going to have the pleasure. You're playing live at Tantra as part of KTSW's Third Thursday. I'm going to be there. I'm really looking forward to it. We are too. Well, thank you. Such I think a there'll pleasure. be a lot of people there. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah definitely. <laughs> we'll get everybody out. It'll be packed. Awesome. Because I'm not going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> You're leaving her out there on her own? Yep. <laughs> okay, so before we get back to another song, um, I do want to mention really quickly that uh, KTSW has been nominated for an MTV Woody Award. Um, in that's the nominations will run now through uh, March 15. Uh, basically, for all our listen out, listeners out there, I want you to do uh, one thing before you stop listening to us today. Follow the link from KTSW.net. KTSW is up for an MTV Woody Award, like I said. And basically, the Woody Award is for best college radio station in the nation. So definitely do your part and help KTSW win by voting. For more, uh, you may vote as many times as you want. And of course, for more information, just visit our website at uh, ktsw.net.